In this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine different type of LUTs to create interesting and unique type of looks in DaVinci Resolve. We have our clips here. It's shot in red, color space, red, rec 709, 2.2, because it's going out to web. I group these clips and we'll be working in the group post clip section where I usually do my looks. If you want to add a film look that's in DaVinci Resolve, you would go LUTs, let's go film looks, and let's use the 2383. Obviously this is not looking good because these LUTs aren't expecting red footage to come in. What we have to do is add a CST here. You say input is red, red, rec 709, Cineon. Then we go, Turn my big zero. Now, what you can do is you can create a pre node before and then start fiddling around with this. But you pretty much have this LUT. It gives you a contrast curve and then also applies a certain type of color to your shot. So this is the first way. This is the normal way. Kind of add it here, play around with the pivot maybe until you are happy with the shot. This is the normal way of doing it. What I really like doing is let's clear all of this is splitting my look into luminance and color. How I do that is I create a layer node, pre node. Let's add a serial here, let's add a serial here. And we're gonna call this, I'm just gonna say ignore. I'm gonna call this luma, call this color. In this node, we're going to take saturation all the way down. And in this node, we're going to take luminance all the way down. So lift minus one, Gamma, minus one, gain, 0 0.01, it's the lowest it can go. Now you run into this problem, that is just dark. Now we fix that is we change the composite mode to add. Now what you've effectively done is anything you change here will only affect the luminance and anything you change in here is only gonna affect the color. What if I have two LUTs that I really like? I like the contrast curve on one LUT, but I don't like the color and on the other one, it's the reverse. I like the color, but not the contrast curve. What I can do now is in this node, I can add the contrast curve of, let's just take this guy. And here I'm going to add 2383. So what it's doing here is only taking the luminance value of this LUT and combining it with the color value of this LUT. Obviously this looks really bad and it's because these LUTs aren't expecting red footage to come in. So if you do have a custom LUT that wants red footage and it turns it into something, you won't have to do this extra step. But if you want to use the LUTs inside of Resolve, one more step and we're just going to add CST here. I'm going to do color space transform and we're moving that from red to rig 709. Cineon. Okay, so now we have that. We're a bit closer, but it's still way too saturated. I can now independently control the luminance and the color. And if this is too much, I can go to my node key and play around with the output and decrease it. What I can also do is, if I want to start adjusting this contrast curve, nothing stops me from adding another pre node here and adding my own curve. Add a bit of contrast, bring the exposure up. And now I'm just gonna play around with it until I'm kind of happy with where it's sitting. Let's go for a bit more of a contrastier look, play around with the saturation a bit. And let's land there. Now I've created a pretty interesting and unique type of look because I've combined a lot of different elements. You can combine any type of LUTs and add any type of unique adjustments that you want to make. In this technique, you don't have to use two LUTs, obviously. What you can also do is, if I only want to use the color of the 2383 and I want to create my own custom curve for my look, I just turn these two off. You can just delete them. And then in this node, let's create your own custom curve. Let's add a bit of contrast here. Play with the pivot. Play with the exposure and just go back and forth until you are happy with the result. It's bring it down a bit. And this part is totally up to you. Let's go for the super contrasty kind of like desaturated type of look. 
Nice and bright highlights. Let's play around with it a bit more. And here you can kind of like fine tune exactly what type of look you want. Now I've created a unique type of look because I've used my own type of contrast curve. I'd recommend you play around with this technique. I really, really like it because it allows me to create interesting types of combinations in my project.